So the beast is going to demonstrate a kettlebell sumo squat, also known as a kettlebell sumo goblet squat. So she's keeping her weight. We have that general rule of thumb, the 80-20 on the feet. So she's got 80% of her weight directly underneath her, her uh, shin, and then the 20% is on the toes of her shoes. So if you, anyway through this movement, you start feeling more weight toward the front of your foot, you're gonna wanna kick your hips farther back, slightly externally rotate the hips to keep the, the knees out and over the top of the toes. And she's going to full, full depth here. Notice full parallel and squeezing the glutes through all the way through the top of the movement. Let's do two more. Nice wide legs. A lot of adduction and abduction in this. Don't let the knees cave. Don't let the knees turn in. That's why you're keeping them kind of over the toes. And if you keep that weight on the feet at that 80-20 rule, 80% 80 toward the back, 20 toward the front, and have that slight external rotation on the hip to keep the knees straight over the toes. And if you can't do it with the weight, this is how we'll do it at first, as you begin. You can use your arms as balance so you can keep your hips back far enough. All right. Kettlebell goblet sumo squats.